uh, there was a three legged pup rescued and adopted after being hit by a car. And now that pup is about to receive a prosthetic leg thanks to some hardworking kids, a 3D printer and some quick acting veterans or veterinarians. Excuse me. Our Shelby Danielson has the story all new tonight. We'll talk about hands on learning in the classroom. It doesn't get much better than this, and that's thanks to little Snoopy here who is joining us. And you may notice he's missing a front leg, but there's some sixth grade students in St. John's County who are helping to solve that. At first glance, you would never notice anything different about this little ball of energy. He spent most of his time with us on the go. This is Snoopy Tripod Sir Hobblesworth. AKA Snoopy. Hopefully the design that the kids have made will have, one of them actually has like a little break or something on it to slow him down. I don't want him to be any faster. Christy Pardo adopted him after he was taken in by Safe Pet Rescue in St. Augustine. He was badly injured after being hit by a car and abandoned. Vets amputated his leg to save his life, but Pardo wanted to do more. What if I collaborated with a STEAM teacher and we come up with a project that the kids can do with a prosthetic? Her colleague, Jessica Brown, introduced Snoopy to her sixth graders at Sebastian anxiety. Middle School, anyway, where their engineered focused class design. were learning about computer design. And it was an overwhelming sense of quiet, hushed, all like, oh my goodness, this is yes. so wonderful. They immediately started crafting prototypes. Most of them are a wheel design, and then you have some that are more of the shaped metal at the end, kind of more like a spring so that he could maybe hop a little bit more instead of push. The kids are also keeping in mind Snoopy's past abuse from a former owner. One of the things that the kids focused on in their projects were trying to make objects that would not startle him, like with sound. The two teachers say their principal and superintendent are on board and they hope to have that prosthetic leg ready in about two weeks. I really think adoption is the way to go because they all just want a loving home. And I got my wish. It's taken yeah. me 14 years to get a dog on campus and we did it. <laughs> you can see Snoopy has made himself very comfortable here at First Coast News. Now those sixth graders will just be designing the prosthetic leg for Snoopy and then they're going to pass it on. Of course, some veterinarians are going to look at it and then they're hoping to get some help from businesses. So if you have any interest, make sure to reach out to Sebastian Middle School. Reporting for First Coast News, Shelby Danielson on your side.